Good morning, children. So in our previous class, we saw introduction of L two algebra. So what is algebra? Algebra is it is a branch of mathematics that involves symbols, alphabetical letters, numbers, and the mathematical operations. Okay. Yes. And in that we saw variables and constants. So what are variables? Variables are they are the letters. They are unknown quantities. It doesn't have a exact value. Those are variables. You can take uh, x, y, z, small alphabet letters for variables. Then we saw constant. Constant means like for example numbers which has fixed values. Those are constants. Okay. And again, what we saw operations of variables. Yes, and exponent power of variables. So till here any doubt? No ma'am. Okay. So variables you can also say variables as literals also. Yes. Okay. So now today we are going to see algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions. So, what is algebraic expressions? Algebraic expressions, they are made by using the signs, symbols of algebra means uh, using the constant and using the variables and uh, using the operations with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Using these signs and using the Constant and variable, whatever expression we are getting. Now, for example, 2 is constant, x is a variable. So, 2x plus, plus is an operation, mathematical operation, plus 3y. So, by using the mathematical operations, and by using the constant and variable, whatever expression we are getting, that is, in, in this, we can see both variable also and we can see constant and we can see a sign. Such expressions are known as algebraic expressions. Understood? Yes, so, algebraic expressions, they are made up of signs, symbols, of algebra, signs and symbols of algebra. Okay? And okay. yes. Now, in algebraic expression, there are terms. They have terms also. So, which which are the terms? Now, here, if this example we will take, in this example only, if we will take, then here, the minus and plus, these, this is one term, this is another term, and this also. So the plus minus sign also, they are terms here. They are terms. And this is one term, this is this separately, these are terms. Each one, each variable, and each constant and each sign, they are the terms. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, this is just an introduction of our algebraic expression. How it will be? Again, we have many different kinds of algebraic expressions that we will see afterwards. Before that, we, we should know what do you mean by factors and coefficients. So, first we will see that, then we will go to different types of algebraic expressions. Okay. So, factors. Now you know if you will take only numbers 3 or you will take 6. Which are the factors of 6? 2, 3, 1, 6. 2 and 3. 2, 3 is the 6. So, here 6 is having 2 and 3 as factors. 
factors. But in algebra, see for example, phi x y. Here, the factors of phi x y is what? Phi x and y. All these are the factors. Understood? Now, for example, if it is given minus x square y. Now, here you have to remember whenever minus sign is there, you have to take the minus sign as a term. You can't leave it because minus sign is also one term. Positive sign is okay, but minus sign is also a term. In algebraic expression, minus sign is a one term. So, here the factor will be what? Minus. Minus. Minus is there. So, you can take as minus one. So, this minus is minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Yes. This x is two times x. Exponent. x is two times. So, we can take as x and x. And this one. X to the power of Yes. So the factors, see, factors of minus x square y is minus means minus 1 x 2. X raised to 2 is there. So 2 times x and y. So these are the factors. Understood how we can find factors? Yes, Again, 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 example we take. Now, if any expression is given, dx square y minus 5y, 5xy square. This is an algebraic expression. In this algebraic expression, if we have to find terms, so, this is one term and this is another term. Now, if we have to find the factors, factors of this is, this is one term and this is another term. So, the factors of this term is what? Factor 3. 3. X is 2 times. X is X. And one. Now factors of this term is minus five. Minus is less. So minus two is four. Minus five x y two times. Yes. Understood the factors? How to find the factors? These are if any expression is given and these will be the terms and these will be the factors. Understood terms and factors? Everyone? Yes ma'am. Okay, one more example I think. I will take one more example. Yes. 
So coefficients, if any factor of a term, any factor of a term is called a coefficient. Means if it is given as 3xy. So the coefficient of 3 is x is to number. Coefficient of 3 is xy. Coefficient of x is 3y. Coefficient of y is 3x. Coefficient means uh, which is the other number which is multiplied, other variable which is multiplied with the one variable, one variable uh, expression, your term, one term. Now this is one term, a uh, numerical term. So here you can see the variables are multiplied. So both the variables have the coefficient for that number. Okay? If it is given as minus minus x square y. So here coefficient of coefficient of minus x what is is equal to x x y. Coefficient of x, is x square is minus y or minus 1 into y. Coefficient of y is minus x Square. Yes. So you should be careful that the remaining numbers go the with the coefficient. So coefficient means there are two types. Numerical coefficient. These are the numerical numbers and these are the variable coefficient. Understood? Coefficients? Yes. Factors separately, terms separately and coefficients separately. Any doubt in here? Okay. When, when we will solve the examples, that time again we get to know again properly. Understood clear? Yes, Okay. So coefficient, terms and factors. Now, like we are having uh, like fractions, unlike fractions, like decimals, unlike decimals. So here in algebra expression also we are having like terms and unlike terms. So we will see like terms and unlike terms. Now like terms are two or more terms which have the same assembling factors, which have the same factors. They are known as, as the like terms. And which have the different, they are known as unlike. Now for example, if any expression is given. Two x squared. Two x Minus 7xy minus 7y minus 5xy. Here we can see 5x square. Here 7xy. Here minus y, 7y. So and here are minus y x y. Here we can see here also xy is there. Here also xy is there. They are same. So these both are like terms. And here 5x1 and x square. And this is 7y. They are different. So they are unlike terms. Like and unlike understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and again, again, uh, example will take. Square. 
I'll write down that. Now we are which which are the same? I'm two and two. I'm two one. Two and four. Those are known as trinomial. 
So here mono means one. By no, by means two, and tri means three. You have learned in the uh, geometry C triangle. I mean three angles. Tri means three. Polygons. Polygons means having many line segments. Like that only polynomial. I mean many terms. Poly means many. Okay. So in polynomial. Polynomial is having two or more terms, and it can have many. Uh, these are having many uh, this uh, powers also. Now, for example, x squared plus y squared plus three x y minus uh, z cube means having different powers also. Z cube or plus x cube minus y raised to four plus five uh, x square y minus six uh, x y square. Means here you can see many terms are there and many different powers are there. So these are polynomials. Understood the kinds of algebraic expressions? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. First, having one term is known as monomial. Monomial. Having two terms, binomial. Binomial. Having three terms, trinomial. Trinomial. Having many uh, terms with different power. Having many terms with different powers. Yes. So you should know to different, uh, classify the algebraic expression into monomial, binomial, trinomial also. Okay. I will ask you an example. You tell me if it is monomial or binomial or trinomial. Okay. Yes, it is trinomial boy. It is having only three terms. Monomial. Monomial. Yes, monomial. Monomial. Binomial. Binomial. Yes, polynomial. Okay. Now, if this expression is given, now tell me which which are the terms. There are how many terms are there? Three. Three terms. Which which terms are there? This is five. Five is first term. Five is first term. Okay, these are the terms. Now, what are the factors? Five, five, and six. Yes. Factors of this? Why, why, why? Factors of this? Okay, now factors over, terms over. Now tell me, coefficient of Tell me the coefficient for phi is 5 equal to x. 5 equal to x. x square. What will be the coefficient of x square? 5. 5. One more thing. What is the coefficient of x? Only x. 5 square. 5 square. 5 square. See here. This 5x square we can write as 5x into x. Yes, 2 times x. We can write 2 times. It's not like this. We can split it. Five square. So, the 
coefficient of x is 5x. This is also you should know that if here 2 is there, raised to 2 means we have we are multiplying this number 2 times. So if 1 I will remove this side, the remaining will be the coefficient. Okay, again, again, one more example. Three y square x. Now, this y we can write as three y into y two x. Yes, we can write like this now. Yes. So, coefficient of three is what? Y square x. Coefficient of y only y. Three x y. Coefficient of x. Three y y. You can write or three y square also you can write. If two times y is there, three y two y square. Understood? We can split it. This we can split. And then we can find the coefficient of each one. Understood about coefficients? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes, ma okay, I will ask one example. Here, coefficient of 6 is x square y. x square x are not given to me. x square z cube y. z cube y is coefficient of 6. Coefficient of y is 6 square x. Six Z cube. Now, now see. I am asking coefficient of Z. Only one Z. So, six six Z square Z square R is very good. How? How see? Your Z is in the time. So one Z I am removing. So how many Z will remain? Two Z will remain. So that 2z will be the coefficient. Okay. And what will be the coefficient of z square? 6 z square. 2 z are removed. 2 z are removed. So 1z will remain. So that 1z will be the coefficient. Okay, so here coefficient of z square is six y z or six z y. Carefully you have to see. Okay, how to find coefficients? You are not having such complicated, but then also I am telling you for your knowledge. Okay, understood how to find coefficient? Yes. So here. What what we saw about algebra? Here this introduction, variables, constant, algebraic expressions, yes. yes. Okay. Now we are having exercise. Based on this, whatever we learn, you are having. Exercise. Okay, see here first question. Exercise 8.1. Write the following algebraic expressions using signs and symbols. Okay, they are giving statements. We have to form a algebraic expression. Now, for example, they are given C. 7 is taken away from A. 7 is taken away from A. Taken away means? 
we have constant constant we can multiply okay so you will do this this you can do here only in textbook first and second Examples exercise we'll see in our next class. 